show, there's going to be worship, there's going to be times of preaching the gospel, um, there's going to be time of sharing testimony, so if, if you get a tap on your shoulder and I ask you to share testimony, that's because God put you on my heart, so uh, we're, we're going to be sensitive to the spirit in that, um, and then we're going to have some live boxing and demonstration with Rock Ministries, give it up for them, I just want to make you say thanks to that ministry, um, and then after that we're just going to see what the Holy Spirit does, alright? So I'm going to have my father come up here, Pastor Louis Centeno. He's going to pray and open up our time. And then Jamie Fitt and the team, they're going to lead our time exalting Jesus. All right? All right. Praise the Lord. God bless all of you. I'm glad you're here today. Uh, anyone here, may, does they, anybody here need a translator? Anybody good? Can you all understand the English language? Okay, if you are in need of translation, we have a translator. I just want to make sure that uh, everybody is sensing a connecting of what God wants to do and what God wants to pour out. And so we understand that and we love the fact that God is continually showing himself merciful and showing himself great and greatly to be praised, correct? Amen. Amen. All right, let's, uh, let's look to the Lord. Let me just say just quickly, you know, you may say, well, there's only a few of us. We are the majority, not the minority. Understand that. Because of the fact is that as men, we've been called for such a time as this. But what we're praying is for breakthrough. We're going to pray. And I ask you that, yeah, I'm going to be praying for this. But I want you to be in agreement of what God wants to do in and through us as we commit ourselves to him. God wants Mighty men, mighty men, men of valor, men who understand their relationship with God, men who understand the times in which they live in, men that not only understand the time in which they live in, but men that know what to do with what God has shown them in the times that they live in. See, we got a lot of people know a lot of stuff, but they're not doing it. So we really ask God to help us to sort of align ourselves with his heart. So these are the things that we're going to look to the Lord and bringing breakthrough in our community. So let us pray. You can pray with your eyes open. You can pray with your eyes closed. I'll pray. You can agree. You can sit down. You can lay down. Whatever it is. But whatever God does, do it as he leads you, not as man leads you or as the flesh leads you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, right now. In the name and through the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, that name that is above every name. There is no way that that name can ever be lowered. When Jesus Christ came, everything that tried to lower him, lower the Father, lower the Holy Spirit, was broken when he came into this world. He destroyed the works of the devil. And Father, we thank you because we're dealing with an epidemic, Father, that is a proportion that many have not yet addressed. And those of us who have addressed it understand that it's been the blood of Jesus and the transfusion of that blood and the cleansing of that blood that has made it possible for us to be here today. Father, men are going to be speaking. Men are going to be testifying. Men are going to be worshiping, Lord. And they have a choice to make today. And that choice today is who are they going to listen to? What is the voice that they're going to pick up on? Is it going to be their own voice in their own head and you say, hey, Trust not your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your paths. The Lord will be your confidence. They need to understand that the voice that matters is not their own. And then Father you tell them that another voice we need to be aware of Father. Because there's a lot, a lot of different Father voices in the world. And you say not to be conformed, not to be pushed into the patterns of this world. And the world has a lot of speaking to. But Lord, you said not to listen to the world, not to go by the world. And we need to understand that, Lord. Especially in this day, in the 24th century first, Lord, that we need to understand that. Then, Father, the voice of the enemy, the liar, the deceiver, he says, ain't this is not going to do anything for you. You go ahead, be you. You go ahead and play you. But Father, the devil is a liar, the father of all liars, the deceiver of deceivers. He is the one who's come to try to plant in the hearts of men lies that cannot be said, Lord. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus and in his authority, by which all authority is given to him in heaven and earth, we come understanding 
that the psalmist says, I'm not going to hear my own voice. I'm not going to listen to the world voice. I'm not going to listen to the devil voice. I'm going to listen to the voice of the Lord. And at the voice of the Lord, he says he promises me peace. And I will not return to my folly. Your God true repentance from men whose hearts are saying, God, God, here I am. I'm here needy. I'm here broken. I'm here ready to fight the good fight. I'm here to say, God, use me. Let me be that man that you want me to be. Let me be that husband that you want me to be. Let me be that father that you want me to be. Let me understand that I am my brother's keeper. Let me, Father, be your light in the world. Let me be the salt to the earth. Let me, Father, stand. For only you can help me stand. The rock that is higher than I is Jesus. He is our rock. He is our fortress. The word of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And let the people of God say so. Our God, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. There's no one like you. Now, forever. You are the only true and one and holy God. And we come today to admit that we come before holiness. And where holiness is, you call us to stand on holy ground. This is your holy ground. We're standing in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in the name of the Father who loves us in an everlasting love. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, we come not by our strength, we come not by our might, we come by the Spirit. God. And Satan, you have no place here. Be bound, be rebuked, and you have no place here. Jesus rules and reigns here. 